Alright guys, welcome to math class. Specifically Algebra 2. And today we're going to be talking about a review. It's my favorite thing to do. You guys have no idea. Because now all we got to do is talk about the TEKS. Go over what you learned this semester. Um, TEKS, T-E-K-S, stands for Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills. Um, there are 26 of them that you guys should have learned by this semester. And let's just go over what they could be. Get seven in the way of mathematical processes and standards. And that just has to do with mathematical reasoning and logic and sort of real life application. You got four in attributes of functions and their inverses. That's when we learned all about those graphs and stuff. We have a couple in systems of equations and inequalities. It's like matrices and equation things where we used Gaussian elimination. And now this current unit that we're on, quadratic and square root functions. Um, and it's going to be awesome. What we're going to do is start from the top, start reviewing now. That way we can plan out, you know, the next, our next like two weeks that we have together and make the most of it. That way we aren't cramming at the end. Boom. So number one is, this is the full thing written out, mathematical process standards. The student, that's you, uses mathematical processes to acquire and demonstrate mathematical understanding. The student is suspected to A. Apply mathematics to problems arising in everyday life, society, and the workplace. You guys might remember a little project we did on crime where we covered this. And you might ask why I'm just bringing that up. And then you might remember that memories are only memories of the last time that you remembered that memory. So just thinking about what it is you did in the first semester, the first couple weeks we were together, will help you prepare for the test. Okay? And in that project, boom, you guys had to use problem solving, a problem solving model that incorporates analyzing given information that was the data on the crime for manipulating a plan or strategy in determining a solution. So with that information, what did we do? And evaluating the problem solving process and the reasonableness of the solution. Okay. So you guys might remember at the end of those little projects, we're asking you a question or you're asking it of yourself. If you were the mayor, what would you do about crime in that neighborhood or that particular street? Cool. C, select tools including real objects, manipulative, paper and pencil, and technology as appropriate and techniques including mental math, estimation, and number sense as appropriate to solve problems. And I'm pretty sure we knocked out all these things in that project also. You know, you guys made a cool poster. Communicate mathematical ideas, reasoning, and their implications using multiple representations including symbols, diagrams, graphs, and language as appropriate. Mm. This one I think we're a little bit lacking on. And um, the lesson today and tomorrow, we're going to be going over this stuff. Let's see. Create and use representation to record, organize, and communicate mathematical ideas. <sighs> Last, you know, this one does have to do with that first project that we we're doing, and 
Um, tomorrow, I'm going to make you guys... I'm going to give you guys like a time sheet. The way you guys can start thinking about your time and how you're going to manage it for the next couple weeks. Because you're going to have finals coming up. And I want you guys to get all burnt out and then stressed out about nothing. So, let's plan now. So... It won't be too bad in the future. Okay, here we go. Analyze mathematical relationships to connect and communicate mathematical ideas. Okay, I think this one we did do. Um, when we had upward trends and downward trends and positive correlations in relation to um, linear regressions and then display explain or justify mathematical ideas and arguments using precise mathematical language in written or oral communication so I think we do a pretty good job of this one with the exception of using precise mathematical language and today we are going to tackle that problem you know I'm just a you know, simply simple country girl, <laughs> and um, uh, we're just gonna use technology today to figure out what the heck them math teachers be talking about. All right, so that's it for today. Until next time, you guys are awesome. I love you. I hope you guys love each other.